Hi everyone! Um, this video is being brought to you from my very bland bathroom, but I promise it is all in good faith because after many requests, I am finally going to show you how I curl my hair. Um, so starting it off, this is my typical just woke up, get the bangs out of the face look um, that I rock until I get ready to do my hair every day. So um, as you can see, I call it affectionately the snooky look. Got my bang clip in and everything. Um, all the tools that I use to curl my hair is in this sucker right here. This is my Con Air 1 and 1 fourth inch curling iron. I don't know why, I, but I promise if you get the one extra fourth of an inch, it just does miracles. I don't know. Um, anyways, so that is my curling iron. So I'm going to take my hair down. And yeah, it just stays like that until I brush it out. Um, so I'm going to brush out my hair, get out all my sleep-derived tangles out. And yes, this is like my natural hair texture, if you could call it that. And basically, my trick for curling my hair is I do it in a series of layers. So if I'm doing like a casual day, I'll do one layer, um, meaning I just randomly grab parts and I curl the ends. Um, if I'm kind of like work, maybe working that day and I want to like look really nice, I'll do two layers and that is basically where I clip up half of my section hair and then I'll curl this part and then I'll curl the top layer so it's like more curls. And if I'm just gonna go to like a party, like birthday party, or go somewhere where a lot of photos are gonna be taken. Um, I can do up to as many as like three or four layers. So it just kind of depends on, you know, your hair texture, your hair length, and you know, what you're really gonna be doing that night. So um, I would recommend if you have thinner hair, I would definitely do more layers because that way it kind of has something to lay on and it can give you that volume that you may want. I, on the other hand, don't have to worry so much about that. So um, we'll just go with maybe like my two layer trick. So grabbing the infamous bang clip again, I gather my hair about two, I mean, maybe like an inch above my ears because that way I, I can actually curl this section. I don't know what it is about this piece of hair but above your ears, but it's just, it's like the most annoying piece of hair I have. It's always the one that gets sweaty first if you're outside. It's always the one that's gonna curl first if your hair is straight. And God forbid if I put my hair up behind my ears, I end up with like, like what is that? Yeah, it's, it's from doing this, but like really, what is that? Anyway, it's back to the hair curling. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why my voice is so raspy this morning. All right, so I take about a good chunk of hair. And then using your curling iron, I hate this little piece, so I always flip it down. It bugs me. It'll get in the way of your curl. Um, with this little piece of hair ready, instead of curling from the bottom and curling up, <clears throat> I start from the top and then I curl it. So just a few seconds for it to gain its momentum. But as you can tell, I'm letting go of the barrel and I'm wrapping it around. Um, this trick I learned when I finally stopped straightening my hair to the point of it like being fried because I wanted something different to do with to my hair that would actually go with the length that I wanted and it wouldn't damage it so bad. It was kind of like I was accepting my curly hair nappy roots. So doing that, 
That way the bottom of it doesn't get that much heat, is what I'm trying to say in the lowest of layman's terms. So, and I'm curling away from my face. So as long as you curl away from your face, you should be okay. And I'm just gonna look in my big girl mirror to do so. Um, I typically just use three chunks because that way you can get more curls. And you just typically take it around, maybe just crank the iron around and curl it for a couple of seconds. That way the heat is distributed evenly and the bottom of your hair, the hair that usually looks dead, won't get that much cheap. Because before I used to curl my hair like this, and not only are you frying your tips of your hair, it's not really going to give you that much curl. Um, granted, my hair is naturally curly, but unless I think I want to go out and really want to rock this hairstyle for a long periods of time, like maybe when I was a bridesmaid of a wedding, I did that. I didn't put any hairspray in it. So, hmm. teach them. If you have straight hair, I would definitely put tons and tons of hairspray in it. Um, I was in a wedding where I did the bridesmaids, I mean, I did the bride's hair myself, and she had really, really straight hair. Plus, she um, had to wash it the day of, which I begged her not to. And another tip for y'all, if y'all don't shampoo your hair, like my four-day challenge suggests, you will actually get better curls. Remember, girls, for more curls, leave your hair dirty. I don't know why, but it just works better. Okay, and for the sake of time, I just want to try to, like, get the majority of it done so you can see. I probably look really strange right about now because I have, like, Shirley Temple curls going on. And plus, these things are all out of whack. Probably look like a little house on the prairie. Um, just so the hair doesn't get in the way, then with each layer, I kind of just take a layer that I would be able to manage better by itself, you know, so you don't want to have to pick up the curls. I do not, do not touch your hair until it completely cools. Okay, now you're probably going to be able to see this better. Crank the curling iron, one, two. Crank it again, one, two. Crank it again. Sometimes it can be hard and you have to wiggle it. There you go. My curling iron obviously needs some grease in it. And then, voila. Okay. Now, usually with your part, like, you know, to get those, like, fair faucet, like, bangs, you know, pieces, I typically leave a Decent size for my last chunk of hair. Just it's a face framing piece, so you definitely want to leave plenty of um, room for it to be flattering. I guess you could say you don't want like little Shirley Temple curls. So grab that, crank it, crank it again, crank it some more, depending on how long your hair is. Um, and then I hold this piece a little bit longer than the others, just because it's the piece that your fingers are going to touch, especially if you're like me and you try to mess with your hair. It's the piece of hair that's going to go first. So, there's that. And then the last section of my layer, I guess you could call it. Always try to make sure that you're spending as much time as you, in the back as you are in the front. Because I can't tell you how many times I've curled my hair 
and it'll look awesome. And I'm just like, yeah, this looks great. And then the back looks like poop because you just didn't really focus on it. You forget. <clears throat> and not so much for like this hairstyle, for any hairstyle. Like when I blow dry my hair, I will focus so much on the front of it that the back will just look like a rat's nest and that's never good. You never want people to be like, well, she just shack up somewhere or something? Like, she looks like she her head hit the pillow. Um, anyways, that was very, you know, weird of me to say. Anyways, I get to rambling when these videos get too long because you know I hate a long video, but, you know, to see my whole head curled, it's going to be kind of lengthy. <sighs> okay. Running through, but you basically get the gist. If you want last piece of hair for the last two raw for you to get it, you're going to start at the top, crank, 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 crank. just kind of doing that to get the hair out. You don't want to just yank it out. I mean, I, I figured y'all would know better than that. But anyways. Alright, so now I'm Shirley Temple. Key. I know. Um, anyway, so if you're going to be Shirley Temple for Halloween, I'll leave your hair like this. If you're not and your hair is really, really straight, um, you would then spray it with some hairspray. Um, I swear by freeze it. I hate how the Mac computer makes everything go backwards, but I swear by freeze it. And um, typically I just use it to spray the top of my hair just because it keeps, I don't know why, but it keeps the shine away. All right. Um, and obviously, if you wanted to tease your hair before you did the first layer, I would have done so with your teasing comb. Um, this is my favorite one. It's the Batilia 806. And the reason why I love it so is because it has three, count them, one, two, three, prongs. So it's like three teasing combs in one. Man, you can like tease the crap out of it. Um, anyways, all right. So it feels about cool. So what I typically do is that. And I just comb it through with my fingers. Really, I focus a lot on my crown just so it's like makes it even. And there you go, my friends, are my curls. Now, um, I, like I said, I only did two layers. Now, this is more of my you know, I'm um, working, like, working girl look, but if you wanted more, you can always add more, and if you wanted less, you can always just curl random sections of your hair. Um, if you want to see that video, let me know, and I can let, do that for you as well, <laughs> and um, if you can think of any other videos that you would like me to record for you, I would be more than happy to do so. All right, well, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.